All right, real quick, it's yours truly, Mr. Telefera. Before the video starts, it will mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. That's how my business grows. At is Mr. Telefera on your screen right now. When you follow and subscribe to me, you become one of the pharaohs. That's how I talk business, and that's how you support a young hustler out here getting it. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? One of Florida's own youngin ace finds himself in the hospital um, tonight. Actually, he's just been transported from the hospital to behind bars, according to his Insta snap. Just to add a little context to what has transpired in this young man's life, what I do know is that um, young and ace, real name Keontae Bullard, was in a quadruple shooting uh, with a, a few of his friends who are all dead, right? All dead. Um, pretty much they were at this wasabi restaurant getting some food, an argument led to something tragically happening. And I want you young rappers, I, man, I want you young individuals who ain't even in a rap game. I want y'all to understand what comes with this street life. I want y'all to understand that there are other ways to make it out and you can stay away from some of these things because they don't end well. Young and Ace said he was shot eight times to the body. He said, God still got me here. Um, he, he also talked about how he was trying to shield his friends away from the shooting. It's just, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate to be a part. This man's life has been changed forever. And according to his Instagram, he's arrested for it now. He said, I might got to sit down for a minute. Free me, I'll be home soon. So he's now going to have to do some time behind, bar, behind bars for his part in the shooting. Or maybe he had a warrant or two out there. It's just unfortunate, man. He said, I can't believe this shit. I'm done posting. I know my brothers wouldn't want to see me like this. I know I got to blow, blow for him. Watch over me. It's just sad, man. It's just sad. This guy's now going to have to do some time behind bars. Hopefully, that's temporary until they figure everything out. Again, like I said, I don't know if the man had any priors or anything else going on in his situation. That, that led him to being behind bars after he got shot, right? I, I was looking at a couple people online break down what they seen at the scene of the, the terrible crime and, and and they were saying they were watching Young and Ace try to shield these, these other teens from being shot. It's just sad, man. Three people are no longer here and the talent, the rapper, is holding on for dear life after taking eight shots to the torso, and now he's going behind bars. Again, three teenagers killed over something that likely could have been avoided. Very unfortunate. I'll keep you guys up to date on details of this case when I do get them. Like I said, I do know Young and Ace claimed he's gonna have to go behind bars for some time for his involvement in this shooting. And um, I think he said NBA Youngboy reached out to him. That's great. Um, but it's going to take more than that. It's going to it's going to take it's going to take a complete change of scenery. You've already lost three of your closest friends, young man. We need you to get it and be a spokesman for people to not do stuff like this in the future. You got one life, and he's going to have to do some rebuilding whenever he's released. And now you got to bury a lot of your your loved ones, and it just shouldn't be this way, man. I wish. Guys had more OGs to look to for guidance. You know that Drake situation, we all wanted the beef, right? And I hate to keep bringing that Pusha T Drake beef up. But what happened was a real OG, there's not a lot of them left, stepped in and said, yo, I see this thing going south. I'm going to stop it before we get to this point. And I know Drake and Pusha T is in the mainstream world and the likelihood of them ever doing something to each other was slim and none. But Jay Prince was around for the Tupac and Biggie beef. And he was one of the people who told Biggie, Pacnum people or whatever, somebody got it in for you, right? Somebody on the West Coast had it in for you, and whether it was related to Pac or not. And, and Biggie and Diddy still went their own ways and, and did their own thing. So with that being said, I just think rappers need OGs to step in. And maybe if this young and ace artist had an OG around him that was able to step in and say, that ain't it, bruh. 
we ain't going there. You ain't going. We gonna we gonna end some beef. You know what I mean? Like maybe this situation would turn out differently, and he'd be uh, still here with three of his closest friends. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.